Hi all, my name is Kalpesh Hirse and welcome to Shoe Insta's Admission Counseling. I am your admission counselor and I am here to help you select the right engineering college for you. Now in this particular video, we are here to talk about the red flags in engineering admissions. You heard it right. Yes, there are a lot of red flags we should be aware about while selecting or rejecting a particular engineering college. In this video, I will take you through all the red flags and if you ensure you ignore or miss most of them, you will definitely land up in a good engineering college. To begin with, the first red flag which we have is 100% placements. Most of the engineering college would be telling you that they have 100% placement and according to me, this is a big red flag. Recently, just two days back, there was a news in Times of India which said that more than 38% of the IIT passouts have not secured job this year. And they are honestly saying it. But the lower rank college are saying that we have ensured 100% placements. According to me, this is practically impossible and this is the first big red flag for us. The second red flag here is, if any college is calling you, then it is a big, big red flag. All the good colleges are not interested in calling you. Only the non-performing engineering colleges generally call you up. These colleges call you because they cannot ensure 100% admission and that's why their colleges, professors and teachers are given target to have 5 admissions or 10 admissions per professor. So any college which is calling you is a big, big red flag and we should be avoiding them. And not just that, they will also tell you that only 5 seats are remaining or just 2 days are left to take admission, all the seats are filled. These are all marketing tactics to ensure that you take admission in their college. But as far as I am concerned, this is a big, big red flag for us. Now the next important red flag is having no clear cancellation policy. I understand that for various reasons, you might be compelled to take admission elsewhere even before the MSCCT admission process begins. That is absolutely okay. I can understand your concerns. But you should ensure that the cancellation policies are okay so that you can participate in cap round as well as non-cap round. If they don't allow you or if the cancellation policy is not good enough, then that is a big, big red flag. They are trying to hold you so that you don't move out of that college and take a better college. So always ensure that the cancellation policies should at least be feasible so that you can take part in the MSCCT process till 10th of August or at max 20th of August. If the cancellation policies are relaxed till 20th August, then you are free to take admission anywhere because most of the CET admission process would end by 20th of August. The next important red flag here is colleges having huge fees. Now there are many colleges which have fees in the range of 3 lakhs to 5 lakh per year. According to me, this is a big big red flag because there are many other colleges which have lesser fees, better peer group and better placement as well. And most of these colleges are under MST CET because none of the college in MST CET has fees more than 2 lakh. I think the only exception to this would be DJ Sangvi which has a fees of 2 lakh 10,000. But apart from that, most of the colleges in CET have fees less than 2 lakh. But if you offer any other colleges apart from CET, then their fees might be in the range of 3.5 lakhs to 5 lakh plus. Here, the hostel fees is not even included. Why are these colleges red flag is? Because you take lot many years to recover what your investment is. And also, in most of the colleges having huge fees, the overall quality of peer group drops significantly after CET rounds are conducted. Why? Because the cream students would move out from D universities to CET colleges and then they would be walk-in admissions in most of the colleges where the fees is that exorbitant. Hence, this is a big, big red flag according to me. The next big red flag is colleges offering international tours, etc. Now, this is a big marketing strategy. They know that students would love to have international tour organized in their college. But we have to ensure here that for us, what matters is the quality of the college, teaching, placement and peer group. We should not get influenced by colleges offering international tour. That does not mean that that college is good, but that means that that college is very smart enough to market you in such a way that you should be taking admission there. So according to me, that is again a big red flag. And the final point which I'm trying to make here is there can be many lower rank college which can be calling you to come to their college to fill preference form. By doing that, they will tell you, we are giving you a facility to fill this preference form, but they will try to force you or motivate you or brainwash you in such a way that you should be putting their college as preference number one. 
if you put their college as preference number one and you get there, then by rules of the CET admission process, you are locked there to take admission there only. So you will not be eligible to participate in cap round two and three. Definitely you can participate in non-cap rounds, but many people are not aware about the advantages of non-cap round or they are not even aware that such a round exists. So if any college is calling you to come to their premise and fill preference form, the best thing that you should do is say no to them and fill the form yourself. Ensure that you don't share your ID password with anyone and you also don't give your OTP to anyone. Again, if any college is calling you there, that is a red flag. So these were a few points which I wanted to share with you today. I hope you understood them and you will implement them and you will avoid most of the red flag as much as possible. That's it from my side. See you again in the next video. Please consider subscribing to us. Thank you.